hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Um, huh, my name is Michelle Edhouse and my new toy has arrived. I am so excited. I have been watching um, Anne Marie do her uh, record paws, LP, whatever you want to call them, and adore them. And I have so wanted one of the clocks. And so I have been racking my brains i didn't want to spend 165 dollars to get myself a banding wheel like she uses and i've been asking lots of questions and i came up with this this is a children's pottery wheel and it has two speeds runs on batteries goes round and round and the really cool thing is the centerpiece is higher than the lid lid the ledge bit so here's what i've done I have got my new little toy and as you can see there's not a lot of gap but there's enough and it spins and I have black taped my LP on and check this out watch it what, 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 this. Oh, hold on ah and I, I haven't tested this part of it I've put it into this bucket so that it catches any splatters uh, where's my on switch gone? I might need to do this a different way. Let's try this. Look, it goes down. That's speed one. And that's speed two. Okay. So the target is we have it in the bucket. We have it speedy weedy gonzales -ing. And then we pour paint in the middle. And it flicks it out and makes a cool design. So let's give this a go first of all we need to get our paint on the action stations um i'm actually going to give this a go with a bit of white just to cover that center bit first and just to see which speed we need sorry about the noise guys but here we go <laughs> well, that's funky in its in and of itself. Check that out. So, it's going to need quite a bit of paint by the looks of this. How does it get any better than this? And the other thing that we're going to need to work out a slightly more ease way is um, <clears throat> how to. That really is quite funky. What do you guys reckon? I like it. <laughs> Got some air bubbles in that. Anyway, my white doesn't have silicon in, so that's a good place to start, I think. So, what colours do I want this to be? What colours do I have that I desire? Ooh, you know what? I've been really enjoying the blue, the pink and a white dot. Now, I really like that. What do you guys reckon? So, I'm going to give that a go. Just plain pink and blue and white. I'd probably put silver in it if I had some mixed up, but I used the last of my silver, I think, yesterday. Uh, bucket in the middle of the world is kind of a bit intrusive. Oh, there's my silver. Let's have a look. Oh, there's a bit of, oh, maybe we'll put a drizzle of silver in later. Um, okay, let's do it. We've got our light blue, which has already got some silicon in it 
And as per normal, that's our Reeves Fine Artist Quality. We've got our Crimson Pink. And that's our Reno Art Acrylic. Crimson Red, sorry. And the white I'm using at the moment is the Sass Student Acrylic with no silicone in it. Whereas the pink and the red, the pink and the blue have silicone. Uh, I think I've dropped bits in this. Not so cool. All right. So, start off with white. Uh, and then we're going to put some pink. And some blue and some more white and some more pink and some more blue. Now this is a pour but it's not a pour because it's a spinning pour. So Let's make sure you are zoomed in on that and let's get this party started. to do here guys and I probably need a second set of hands to get that out so we can torch it and stuff um oh wow I like it all right so Bear with me while I get this out of the bucket. All right, well, the boys appreciated that. They thought that was very cool. So now I'm going to give it a bit of a torch, see what else we can get to come out of this. That's cool. I like it. I really like it. Can you see it? Is it nice and zoomed in? That's some really cool stuff in here, guys. I'm going to get you down and and show you. Um, just not sure if it'll tilt. I doubt it. I just, when I was getting it out of the bucket, I swiped the side a little bit. Um. 
rather not have any black showing. And I'm not 100% fast on this. Swiped the edge. And in some places it's gone down to the canvas. I mean, the record. <laughs> But I do like this. This is cool. And, you know, it's my first try. So, how's it get any better than this? Wow, those children are noisy. Alright, get you down. Okay, guys. So, this is what she looks like from 100%. Let's go on to that centre bit first. You can see the hole. Got all that cells in the middle around that centre end area. And then you've got the swishy bits on the outside where it's just like flung. I really like that. But we've got some pretty cute little cells in here as well as the bigger ones. Oh, those noisy children. Okay. Do you like it? I do. It's cool. And I get I'm going to have lots of fun with this. Trying different methods of, you know, single colour pour um, and stuff like that. But for my first record pour, I like that a lot. That's very cool. So guys, thanks for joining me here at Makiya. And how much fun can you have today? Bye-bye.